Right, anyway, back to Goldenrod. So that's the game corner. Definitely going to spend a bit of time after I've done some Pokemon training. To, uh... <laughs> I don't know where everything is. So I'm definitely going to try and get enough coins to get Dratini. Because getting a Dragon Pokemon, like, early in the game is probably going to be pretty cool. Anyway, let's see who lives in this house. Hello, 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 hello. My big brother, Bill, made the Pokemon storage system. Oh, is that so? My son, Bill, is an expert. He just got called to the Pokemon Center in Ecritique City. Oh, okay, well, I guess we'll speak to uh, him once we get there. Also, that's just reminded me of... I think you can get a certain Pokemon from here as well. Oh, hello. There's a Meryl. That can only mean one thing. <laughs> Lyra's here. When you follow this tunnel, you'll see a dress-up shop. That's where your Pokemon can put on accessories to dress up and take pictures. Uh, a fashion case. Okay. We got the fashion case. Well, but there isn't... There's, there's not... Uh, there isn't... Um, there's no Pokemon contest in uh, Johto. There is something else you could do. But there are also trainers. Ah, yes. You could do some Pokemon training uh, down here as well. Right. Okay. Yes. So, I tell you what. Let's switch Heracross back up here. Because if we're going to battle some Pokemon trainers, might as well uh, uh, help uh, level up my Heracross a little bit more. I got booted out of the game corner. I kept winning at the new coin game and they thought I was cheating. <laughs> well, that's too bad for you, Eric. Mm, Grimer. Okay. Alright, Heracross. Let's see how well you could do. You're fully healed. You've got uh, enough power points. To uh, use your attack, so let's see how well you could do. They did use harden, so. Oh no, poison gas attack. Ugh, I hate poison gas attack. Just for that, you're just gonna get yourself butted by my head. Damn it, and that still didn't knock you out. Because, of course, you use harden. You get Grimer. Uh, horn attack. Nice! Leveled up again. Okay, yes, Heracross is definitely leveling up. Ooh! Only just, though. I can't even see the, uh, the bar there. Uh, let's keep battling. I'm just going to carry on attacking for now and just hope that... Oh, damn. Nice. Good job there. And it flinched. Because if I cured Heracross of the poison, it might try using... Poison gas attack again, so there's no point in doing that. So let's just do that. There we go. Nice. Defeated the super nerd. <laughs> grumble, grumble. Yeah. Not having a good day, are you? I guess I have to do things fair and square. Well, that's what you get for apparently cheating. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Were you cheating or were you just so good and they just got suspicious regardless? But whatever. Let's just uh, do some quick healing of Heracross and carry on battling and have a look at the shops around here. Ah, there's a little tunnel down here. No entry beyond this point. Ah, At least for now, because I do remember what goes on there, but... We'll have to find out another time. Anyway, uh, another battle. My Pokemon just got a haircut. I'll show you how strong it is. Oh, God, I forgot you can get Pokemon haircuts in this game. <laughs> ah, Pokemon Pokemaniac Isaac. Ooh, Licky Tongue. Okay. Do your best, uh, Heracross. Just watch out for that massive tongue. Hmm, Headbutt's actually not doing a huge amount of damage to it. Licky Tongue, Licky -tongue must have... Some pretty... Oh, no, not Lick. Pretty sure Lick has a chance to paralyze the Pokemon if I remember rightly. Well, thankfully, you flinched. Hopefully, a Horn attack should finish you off. Indeed, it did. Nice. 325 experience points. I will take that. I will gladly take that. Your Pokemon will like you more if you give them haircuts. Well, so much for there being shops here. Obviously, uh, because of it, I'm guessing, depending on the day of the week, there'll be more stalls. So you are the Pokemon Salon. Aren't you younger and less expensive than two haircut brothers? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, give a Pokemon a haircut. Uh, yeah, you know what? Spruce or Quillava, why not? <laughs> Let's see if Quillava likes it. 
Quill lava looks happy. Nice! I don't think we'll be able to see it, but hey, we gave our purple on that a, a haircut. <laughs> right, more battles. Do you consider the Pokemon types in battle? If you know about different types, you'll do better in battle. Yeah, sure I do. But I'm only battling against just standard Pokemon trainers. Ooh, we have four Pokemon now. Ooh, Magnemites. Right, okay. No point in just wasting time with Heracross with Magnemite. Let's bring out Quillava because I'm not going to waste time with a Steel-type Pokemon. Let's just uh, use Quillava's fire attacks to uh, easily take care of the Magnemite. There we go. And Heracross leveled up. Nice. Ooh, Aerial Lace. Alright. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, you can, you can learn that. And I'm probably not going to bother using Endure. So let's forget Endure and learn Aerial Lace. So, if we come across uh, a Grass-type Pokemon, uh, by the time we still don't know any proper book type moves, then Aerial Ace would be a nice little backup. Actually, Aerial Ace would be useful if we go against fighting types as well, so. Yeah, you know what? That'll be good. But again, you're just sending out Magnemite. I tell you what, if he keeps setting out Magnemite, I'm just going to use Quillava to knock them out. I really can't be bothered constantly switching. If you're just going to keep unleashing Magnemite on me, it's going to be a bit tedious. Yeah, you're just going to send out Magnemite. Screw it, let's just keep battling. Let's just keep battling Quillava. And hey, maybe if you're lucky. Oh, uh, level 9, I guess here we go stronger. Well, I don't know. I can't be bothered. Let's just uh, defeat the Magnemite and maybe Quillava will level up to level 20. I don't see why not. 171. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Ooh, Voltorb, okay. Uh, no, you know what, keep battling. Might as well keep battling. Might as well level up Quillava. Get you to a nice round level 20. There we go, no chance. Ding! Level 20 for Quillava. Ooh, anyone know Flame Wheel? Hell yes! Uh, yeah, get rid of Leah, I don't care about Leah. Yeah, Flame Wheel. Sweet. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Um, <laughs> last time I checked, I wasn't attacking you physically. <laughs> but uh, whatever. Anyway, uh, you now know Flame Wheel. Also, I need to check your stats again. What's your stats? Yeah, yeah your special attack is more superior than your attack. So, thinking about it, Flame Wheel's not... I don't know, I don't think it's going to be as good. But it'll still be nice to have, and maybe I can uh, find uh, some, what was it, protein or something to maybe boost up your attack a little bit, but... I don't know. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll still be alright. Plus, obviously, you're a fire type, and that's a fire move, and so you'll still get, like, a, a stab bonus, so... That'll be a nice backup to have. Uh, anyway, is there anything around here? Oh, it's the photo booth! Oh, I forgot about that. So, well, let's just finish battling the Pokemon. Uh, these Pokemon trainers. Have some rare Pokemon. Well, Heracross is pretty rare to find. But I'm hoping to get an even rarer Pokemon if things go well. If I can uh, get enough coins to get that Latitini from the game corner. I'm just probably going to spend a ridiculous amount of time uh, just playing that game. Although... In the little demonstration that we did, uh, I managed to get up to 200 coins quite quickly. And I need, what, 2100 coins to get uh, Dratini? Uh oh. Yawn. Right, okay. Uh, headbutt. Knock it out before you fall asleep. Yep, okay. But that's fine. Uh, keep battling. And hopefully you'll wake up eventually. Depends what Slowpoke's gonna do. You're just gonna use Tackle. Is that gonna do enough damage? Well, that was a crit. I mean, I could use an Awakening, but it might just use Yawn again. Oh, I forgot about Growl. Uh, I might just... Hmm. Oh, 
Come on, Heracross, wake up! Now's not a good time for a snooze! Hmm, I think I might just have to switch out my Pokemon. Especially if he decides to use Yawn again. Oh, she's gonna carry on using Growl. She's gonna... She's gonna make things very slow. Come on, Heracross. Do your best. Holy crap! <laughs> Heracross, I freaking love you! <laughs> oh my god! God damn it, I love you, Heracross. <laughs> anyway, let's just switch back to Quillava because I think we're done with the Pokemon battles, but... Yeah, welcome to the Memorial Photo Studio. We are now all new studio. You can wear a Team Rocket uniform to take a picture. Well, sure, but why would I want to dress as a... Team Rocket hey, member. Well, whatever. Look cool as if you own the world. <laughs> okay. Yeah, look at us. <laughs> well, I don't really want to be associated with uh, being part of Team Rocket. If you dress up your Pokemon, make it a sight to behold. Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, yeah, that's right. You can dress up your Pokemon. Just use the accessories and put them on your Pokemon when you're done. I will snap a photo and put it up beside me. If you mix your records with others, you can get their photos too. Yeah, okay. Let's dress up Quillava. Although, do I even have anything? Because I did literally just get the accessories case. Uh, touch the accessory, drag it to your Pokemon on the right, and position it securely. You can put on 10 accessories. Uh, right, change the background. Okay, so here's Quillava. We can move it around. So we can change that if we want. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Have that, and then, yeah, I literally just got... I literally just got fluff. Lyra just gave me a box of fluff. <laughs> Come on, Lyra. A box of fluff is not going to do me well. Um, so, yeah, let's give you some fluffy feet. Let's give you fluffy feet there. Let's give you a pink one there, because why not? Have, uh, some fluff there, why not? Yeah, sure, done. Yeah, sure, why not? It's all I can do right now. <laughs> it needs to have a title. Oh, that's right, you can't, um... Uh, you can't really, um... <laughs> name it that. Can I just uh, name it something like, um... <laughs> forgive me. Yeah, forgive me for doing this, Quillava. <laughs> um... Oh, dear. Uh, genius. Giggle. Oh, I don't know. Uh, just... I don't know, just... Uh, what should I just call it? Cyndaquil. Actually, hang on. Go back. Uh, Q. Yeah, just just say, just call it Quillava. I don't care. Yeah, just call it Quillava. <laughs> oh, there we go. No, I don't want to do that right now because all I have is... I, <laughs> all I literally have is a ball of fluff. A box full of fluff. Wait, can I view my photos from here? Oh, cool. You can. Huh. There we go. And I'm guessing this is all just like empty spaces. Probably want to change that eventually. Wait, hang on. I, was, I wasn't paying attention. Take a look. This is a, dr this is a drawing for accessories. You never know what it Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, sure. Why not? As long if it's a ball of fluff, I'm going to kill you. The professor hat? Huh. Cool. Well, you know what? Screw it. Why not? Let's just do it a few more times. Let's see uh, if we get anything else. The carpet. All right. Okay, so we've got a Professor Hat, the carpet. Let's see if we can get some more accessories in other places. Blue balloons. Okay, there we go. We're starting to get some uh, more items. Uh, let's get let's get another one. Let's just see if we get anything uh, interesting. The cape! Oh, sweet! Yes, yes, yes! Get the cape, surely! <laughs> oh, gotta put my cape on one of my Pokemon. 
and sweet candy. I think I'll do for now, but... Damn, I forgot just how much you can actually do in Golden Rods. <laughs> uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that I've actually... Now that I've got some, uh... Now that I've got some proper accessories, let's actually, uh, make uh, Quilava a little bit more, uh... <laughs> a bit more better. Oh, you did have. Oh, we did have some more things. It wasn't just a. It just. It wasn't just fluff we had. Okay. I, I thought that was literally all we had. So that's the hat. It's kind of a shame we can't flip it round. I can't really put it on your head. I could put it on your backside though. <laughs> yeah, put yeah, Put that on there. Put that on there. And uh, there's nothing else there. I can't really put a cape on you, which is disappointing. We can't put you on a. Oh, no, no, no. We could put you on the. We could somewhat put you on a carpet and pretend you're. Oh, and pretend you're flying. Yeah, you're on a ma you're on a flying carpet, Quilava. Ugh, this thing is very awkward. So if we put you there, yeah, you're on a flying carpet! There we go. I'll give you a moustache. Let's not give you a moustache. Maybe not a feather. Some fluff? No, you know what? There you go. Yeah, we're done. It's Quilava wearing a hat on its... on its ass. <laughs> uh, with balloons riding a flying carpet. There you go. Yeah, sure. Save the design. <laughs> it needs a title. Um... Let's just call it, um... Uh, can I call it something like that? Yeah, just call it flying. Screw it. Yeah, flying. <laughs> so, can we now have a look on here? Does this replace the picture? It does. Yeah! Okay, that kind of works. There we go. Quilava wearing a... Wearing an arse hat. <laughs> uh, like, fly, riding on a flying carpet in the sky. Holding balloons as a backup. There we go. <laughs> God, I forgot you could do that. Okay, no more time wasting. We've still got a lot of golden rod to explore. I really forgot just how much you could actually check out in this place. <laughs> Did you enjoy that, Quillava? I, I'm going to assume that's a yes. You better be careful. Well, fortunately, I've already had to deal with all the battles, so that's fine. And here we are. Watch out. Get off your bike in the tunnel. Interesting little uh, house here. Oh, you're the name rater. Ah, okay. So if we wanted to, we can uh, change uh, our Pokemon's nicknames because, as you know, I haven't been nicknaming any Pokemon because I can never think of anything original to nickname my Pokemon. But... But you never know. Uh, once again, someone's blocking the gym, but we're not going to check that out yet. Goldenrod Flower Shop, a small, what, sorry? Small shop for finding lots of beauty. Ah, oh, go on, let's have a look inside. Fortunately, this is a video game, so I don't have to worry about hay fever in this game. <laughs> Apparently, there's an old tree on Route 36. They say it dances when you water it. Oh, of course not. This is a flower shop. So we do have watering cans and things like that, but I cannot let you have one. It's too dangerous. What? Apparently, a watering can is a dangerous weapon in this game? Right, okay. Uh, have you heard anything like that? Yeah, I'm... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna really do some damage by flinging a watering can over people. Ah, <laughs> uh, if I have to you, Pokemon Center. Yeah, you just give me basic hints there. The power points or PP of its move are all gone. Yep, it sucks when that happens. Anyway, ah, uh, there's the, uh, the magnet train rails again, but... Once again, we won't be able to uh, experience that for a while. Hey, <laughs> I got in trouble playing in a basement of the department store. Well, that's uh, that's what you get. I know there's a new bike shop, but I can't find anywhere. Oh yeah, there's a bike shop round here. I know where it is, but we were actually no, no, you know what? Screw it, we will go there. We will check out the bike shop. Unfortunately, they haven't put it in a good place. I know this is not it, but uh, I just want to go in here anyway. When I use an item on Pokemon, it acts really glad. That's good to know. If you treat your Pokemon nicely, they will love you in return. It looks sort of happy. 
It looks sort of happy. I keep losing my battles on Pokemon that I don't fating. Maybe that's why my Pokemon like me too much. Yeah, if your Pokemon fate too much, they won't like you. Ah, maybe I should try and uh, cheer up Marie. Uh, not Marie. Flaffy now. Oh, speaking of Flaffy, I haven't read the uh, Pokedex entry for Flaffy because it evolved. Uh, did we? Do we need to read any other Pokedex entries? We didn't read Flaffy's entry. Fluffy, the wool Pokemon. It's fluffy fleece, easily stores electricity. It's rubbery hide, keeps it from being electrocuted. There we go. And now we know. So this must be the bike shop, Goldenrod Branch. Yeah, I mean, you're technically in a good place, but the store entrance is in a very awkward place. Like, very awkward. Uh, so how's business? I can't sell my bicycles. Why is that? Could you ride a bicycle on that as I speak? Hell yeah, I want to. Yeah, yeah, loan me a bike. Yeah, no need for it to get a bike voucher. I think we can actually hop on the bike straight away. So, uh, where are we? Bicycle set, let's register. And yeah, actually you can register too, but on the Y button is still my rod, but I think that's fine. Yeah, yeah, let's ride a bike. Yeah! Get to ride a bike! Yeah! Coming through! Circling around! Yeah! Sweet! Hello! Is that man in black dressed up like a Team Rocket member? How silly! Right, let's get off the bike for a minute. They built the new radio tower to replace the old creaky one. Yeah, what's a Team Rocket guy doing here? So this is the radio tower. What do you want, you pest? Scram! Man, you acted just like my rival there when we uh, first saw him at the, uh, at the, uh, at Elm Slav. A network providing Johto with interesting information. And this way is, I think this is just, what's it called, the GTS, something like that? Yeah, the Global Terminal. Which is kind of redundant now because not only as a, not only is, am I playing this on an emulator, but the, the original Nintendo Wi-Fi service, whatever it was called, uh, discontinued a few years ago so kind of irrelevant and also relevant right now is going in here because there's no magnet trains running but you know what I'll well have a quick look at the magnet train here we request that you make sure you refrain from keeping large Pokemon out at the station Ah, the train hasn't come in I know I'll carry pa the passengers on my back yeah I don't think I'll work it's quite a long way between here and well, the final destination. Anyway, let's go into the radio tower. we still got this to check out. Welcome to Golden Rose Radio Tower. Thank you. Uh, just, really just a box down a PC here? Uh, well, I don't need to uh, do anything here. There is a sign here. Uh, reception, sales, personnel, production, director's office, observation desk. Ooh, observation de deck rather, not desk. <laughs> observation desk. Yeah, a, a desk on the deck. Why not? Ah, this is the Pokemon Lottery Caller. I'm Felicity, your attendant. If you draw a number, matches the ID numbers, and your Pokemon, you could win fabulous gifts. Yeah, sure, why not? Nope, didn't get a match. And I think that's one way you can get the experience share, but it's uh, not going to be easy to get, so we're probably going to have to wait until much later on in the game before we uh, get to that. We have a special quiz campaign. Answer five questions correctly in a row to win a radio card. When you load it into the Poker Gear, you will be able to listen to the radio. Nice, yes. Yeah, sure, let's try the quiz. Uh, yes you can. Nidorina can only be female, yes. <laughs> it uses apricots. Mmm, that would be very delicious, uh, <laughs> Pokeballs, but no. It's not apricots. It's impossible to use a TM on a magic carp. I think it is. Yeah, thought so. Uh, I have not listened to the show, but I'm pretty sure her name was Marie. Oh crap, it wasn't. It was the wrong one. Uh, not Marie. What was her name? Damn it. Uh, what was her name? Ah, uh, uh, what was her name? I can't remember her name. Uh, well, now I got the question wrong, so I'll just simply uh, say no.
So there we go, we've got the radio card. What was her name? Wow, you did it. I thought the answer to the third question was surely apricot. <laughs> and I just saw your name. Yeah, Whitney, you're the gym leader. Oh boy. Well, looks like we'll be able to uh, take on the gym leader soon, but we're not going to do that. Oh dear. Uh, I just noticed your heads are kind of not <laughs> kind of going behind the seat there. Mary! That was her name, not Marie. And Ben's five is DJ's uh, voice just makes me melt. Yeah, so your heads are kind of going into the sofa there a little bit. Again, that's something to do with the emulator. I mean, it, it's obviously not going to be perfect, but the settings I'm using right now seem to be, in general, a little bit better than what I was using when I did my first recording session. Lullabies on the radio make wild Pokemon sleepy. That's why I don't see many Pokemon where radio plays lullabies and talk grass. Huh. And this is Studio 2. Save up the blue card points for some choice prizes. Huh. Yeah, I'm on the radio! Sweet! Uh, are we live now? Are we live? Hello? Are we live? Oh, you're Buena! If you tell me the password from the program, you earn points. Save up the points and trade them with the sweet young lady over there for some choice prizes. Ah, okay. Right. Right, I forgot about this. Yeah. Radio is good, you know. Cool music and Pokemon information, surprising news and moving dramas. It has everything. The only thing missing would be images. Oops, they call that a TV. Yeah. Oh, I wanted to go onto that observation de deck. It wasn't that way before. There's something wrong with the director. Ooh. Suspicious goings on. Well, unfortunately, we won't be able to check out uh, the observation deck for a little while. But hey, at least we've got the radio card now, and also um, this blue card as well. Let's just uh, pop back outside. Let's have a look at this blue card. Uh, a card to save points for uh, the password show. Okay, so we can't really do anything like that right now. But let's go to the poker gear. Go to the radio. Oh, here we go. I know you can auto-tune it, but I forgot you can just press that as well. Uh, Mary, Graveler, maybe seen around Dark Cave. Graveler? Anytime. You won't be able to look away. So yeah, Oak just tells you where Pokemon can be found, so... Ah! The Variety Hour Guy. Hello everyone, it's Buena. Time for today's password. Today's password is... Paralyze Heal. Okay. So, Paralyze Heal. Snap! Plan is to take a free night, four day holiday, to fish on the boat, hike in the mountains, and look for Eevee to the east and west. That's the camper. This boy loves book types. Huh. That's just like trainer profiles, eh? Pokemon, Pokemon music, the Pokemon music channel. Ah, today's Friday, and you know what that means, right? It means it's time to wake your Pokemon up with a march. Today's Friday. Yes, you're just saying the same thing again. So, it's the one where it can make all the Pokemon, uh, while well, Pokemon come out to play, which will be useful because, as I said, after I finish recording this session, which has gone on for very long, I've just noticed, um, it's going to, uh, uh, it's probably going to be useful. Oh, I've still got, uh, where is password in there? Uh, although, actually, if I speak to her now, does that mean we get the points? I'm trying to work it out. I'm going to assume so, so can I talk to you? Yes, I do. Join the show? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got to be on the radio. Nice. Ha <laughs> I'm on the radio. There's a paralyzed hill. <laughs> You win one point! Tune into my show again tomorrow, right! Ah, wow. So I got a Pokeball just for getting one point? That's not too shabby. Huh, cool. So, obviously, uh, if I play this every day, I'll be able to uh, check it out. But of course, I don't record every day, in fact. 
As self see you know, I'm doing quite the recording session right now, and... Man, I've, I've been going on for quite a long time now, so... Probably time for me to end this soon, but you know what? We've actually uh, explored pretty much all of Goldenrod. A happening big city! Yep, that's true. So, now that uh, we've checked out all of Goldenrod, and the gym is now open... We'll be able to check out the gym in the, ne the next time we'll be recording, but as I said, I'm actually going to be doing a little bit of Pokemon training uh, off camera. Just level up my Pokemon a little bit more, just to uh, have a more even team. And I'm also going to be playing that uh, card flip game again and see if I can get enough coins to get the Dratini, because having a Dratini at this stage of the game is probably going to be pretty cool. But uh, we'll see what happens. But for the time being, thanks very much for watching, everyone. I hope you guys have enjoyed these last couple of episodes. I don't know how many it's going to be, but it's going to be quite a few, considering how long I've been recording. And, you ha and, you ha and if you have been enjoying these videos, be sure to leave a like as it shows your support. And I'll be back very soon with some more Pokemon Soul Silver. So until then, I shall catch you all later.